Hello everybody and welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. Today we're in the T600 Custom by um, Shanique. Shan Eek. Yeah. Got a um, M14 900 800 horsepower with a Eaton Fuller 18 speed. Pulling a three axle drop deck with a dozer on it. Uh, 66,270 pounds. It's a dozer D8. I'm taking it to Bishop. About 137 miles away. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll see what happens with this trip. Put the windows down. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this truck. Just going for it. We'd be there all day if we sat there and waited. Put the windows back up. We can get a little bit noisy. Turn our lights. Oh, the lights are on. Okay. Bad truck. Drives pretty nice. Doesn't look too bad. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. This is only my fifth attempt to record a video. <laughs> At this point, it's just getting crazy. But, uh, first time was my fault, I admit. I didn't turn the microphone on. I should have checked, made sure it turned on. But the other ones, the game crashed. I had to rebuild the truck. Go straight on. Got halfway there, then the game crashed again. So I had to rebuild the truck again. This time I saved it. So I wouldn't have to rebuild it. And then it just, just kept snowballing from there. <laughs> Shit just kept getting worse and worse. But here we are with another video. Hopefully this one goes good. Have our days. your break off we don't need that on yeah, I had an N14 
14 in here before I put this one in it. It's only like a 500 horsepower and that they couldn't pull itself out of the way paper bag. Thirty-three thousand pounds. It would barely do ten miles an hour up a halfway to steep hill. It had to go, so we went with the bigger N14. Part of it is the transmission, I think, because this thing's the gearing and it's geared uh, three point. 02 I think or some crazy shit like that and it's just way too high way needs a uh, should be like a 355 or something around in that area anything lower than a 355 then you just gotta have a crazy powerful engine to be able to get down the road Recording in 4K. I'd record higher than 4K, but I use NVIDIA Game Experience to record the videos and the audio, um, and it won't record anything over than 4K. So it'll record up to 4K, 60 frames per second. I can up the bit rate, which but changes the file size. I mean, my uh, 1080p videos was at a 28 bit rate on them. These right here are the 4K ones, they got a 34 bit rate for 34,000. makes it look a lot better. If you go back and look at some of my very first American Truck Simulator videos, you'll see something that's recorded in like 23,000 bit rate, 1080p. Oh, we should have got us some fuel before we left town. Hopefully we'll be alright. and you would think about it. About the last video I did before this one, driving down to uh, where we was at, which is Ellie, I think. Was it Ellie? I don't remember where we was at. Anyway, driving down to there, it took... Uh, 45 minutes in game or not in game but in real life to go what is it 600 miles in game I mean we had a road construction detour every mile there was something going on I had to go in and turn that shit down I forgot that I turned it up Cause it was just ridiculous. Couldn't get anywhere. All vehicles must stop for inspection.
the, all the little uh, toggle switches and everything, they all move and work, and the gauges all move and work. And pretty cool. Pretty nice truck. It's not the most detailed inside, but... I don't guess we have to stop for a checkpoint or anything. I was waiting for something that said push center to continue, but... Keep right and then continue straight on. Go straight on. I didn't hit anything, I actually went to the outside view and did not hit anything. Stayed in my lane, getting a little bit better. the little wind noise you hear like a little wind whistling not the turbo there's like a little wind whistle going on like you got a bad seal around the door or something that's pretty neat I ain't never heard that before I don't know if that's something with the new F mods sound fixes update or if it's just a truck but I like it I don't know what the 202 is, but okay. 69 gallons of fuel left. We're chugging, chugging along at 75 miles an hour. Watch the speed along there only say 70. Lights off a little bit, and uh, but we're getting there. Oh, there goes the fucking Qualcomm thing. I got her wide open. Breaker 1-9. Better watch out. We're coming around you. Oh, shit. Get out of the way. We're coming through. Keep right and then continue straight on. I'm not going to drive like that. That's bullshit. I wouldn't do that in real life. Go straight on. If it's late, it's late. Keep left and then turn left. I shouldn't have done that. Turn left. I don't like driving like that. Should just waited, but oh well. It's done. No way. Can't do nothing about it now. fuel anyway. I don't know how the hell we're gonna get out of here but we're gonna get in here. 
It's gonna be interesting anyway. Please make a U turn when possible. Oh, shut up. Got a feel. <laughs> How the hell are we gonna get out of here? Mind the back it out into the road. Maybe we can make it right there to the right. $791. Thing only got 250 gallons. Max fuel loads. 275 gallon tanks. More than fucking five first. There we go. <laughs> Up on the curve. Well, we got this. That ain't bad. Keep right and then turn right. You're not going, I'm going. Nope. It's gonna take out that damn trash can thing there. No, it's not. The bus stopped, surprisingly. I don't like the GPS being up or above the That's just I don't know. Keep right. Don't think that's a good spot for it. Trucks delivery. I ain't never been here before. 19255. Yep, that's the right address. Can you imagine that if you actually had to look at the building numbers like that? Back in the day, you did. You didn't have no damn GPS, you got a map and half ass instructions on how to get there. But some other driver came and rode up. We'll try to back it in there. Any, mini, mighty, mo, which one was it? Do you remember? All right. Right there where that bucket is. Or the front end loader. Between that and the forklift, dude. Backing up. Back under. Oh, come on. Nope. I'm going to pull up a little bit. All the way. Go straighten it out. All right. Let it come on around. Cut it back the other way. Don't have no turn signals on it. Turn the hell done. I thought this thing had turn signals. Uh, huh. Oh, they're there. They're working. You just barely see it. Okay. Fix and say. DOT's not gonna like that. 
139 miles, 13 hours, 51 minutes, 55.7 gallons, $11,489. And we're level 141. Hope you guys enjoyed the little short video here. Um, it was interesting making it up for you guys. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video.